Hey guys, so it's time for another Book Review Friday. Like I've said in a bunch before this one, I enjoy doing these. These make me, like this is, I found like my groove. It makes me feel like I found my groove in making YouTube videos. Um, I feel really short now, but in this the book for today, I did the first one in, no, second one in this series, I think. And now I'm doing the second, second one, or the last one in this series. And this is the one where everything wraps up. This is the one where everything, I guess, concludes, you can say, for this person's story. Um, I realized when I did the review last week that I didn't say the name. Um, the name's in it is CJ, and I can't remember her name, last name before she got married, but it is Whitmore now, and then it is, um, Matt is her husband, and this is the one where they're married, they can't acknowledge, because she's in the witness protection program, that she is married to him, when, and the place that they live is like a split level type thing, so she goes in one entrance and he goes in another, and they meet up in there, um, but like I said, things wrap up in this book. She goes to the Olympics in swimming, which I think that'd be something fun to do. Um, this is this. I didn't get a title, but it's called The Deep End. And this is the last one by Tracy Hunter Abramson in this series. But that doesn't mean that she has concluded out these characters. She, I love when she writes how she involves her other characters into the series, like her Saint Squad series, and my book review on Free Fall, her Amy, who's in the main character in Free Fall, this is her brother Matt. And then there's another story, Obsession, that I've done a book review on, where this one of the main characters is Charlie. And that's also Amy's brother. And the Saint Squad just goes through all the different members of the Saint Squad and their stories, and then it brings in the new ones. And I am, that's one thing I like about this. I love that she has that hint of romance, but it's not strong. I have read books where it's just, the adventure takes a backseat to the romance. And I, if I want to read a romance book, I'll find a romance book. Um, but, this is one that I read and I couldn't put down. I read the books out of order. I think I read it 2, 3, 1 is how I read them. Or it might have been 3, 2, 1 backwards that way. I don't know, but, or I don't remember, no, don't know. But anyways, it was a great book. And I highly recommend it if you were looking for something that has adventure in it, is full of mystery and it has you on the edge of your seat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. And once again, leave your suggestions for books down in the comments. Like I said, I fell short. Down in the comments. And then I will look into them. I guess you could say, I was going to say check it out, but it wasn't coming to my mind. I'll look into them. I also enjoy reading your comments that you leave on these. So let me know, once again, what books you want me to check into or any thoughts on improving these because I'm open to suggestions. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!